folks on Tuesday night. You heard Dan talk about that. Uh, witnesses say a tear gas canister hit Olson in the head. Uh, this was video posted on YouTube, which shows Olson bleeding and being carried out by fellow protesters. Olson suffered a, a fractured skull. Joining us now is Keith Shannon. He is Scott Olson's roommate. Thank you so much for joining us, Keith, and getting up so early. Thanks for having me. Uh, I understand you're sleeping there at the hospital to be with Scott. So how is he doing? Uh, he's awake now. Uh, he's not able to talk, though, although he knows what he wants to say. He's not able to articulate it. Uh, he's able to write, although his spelling's pretty bad at the moment, but they say they're expecting a full recovery. Oh, that's a good thing. Are his parents uh, there yet in Oakland? Yes, his parents arrived here yesterday, and, but they're at, a, they're at a hotel right now. The doctors are still trying to keep a lot of people out of his room at the moment. Um, I know you weren't right there next to him during the protest, but there's so much confusion over what exactly happened. Can you fill us in on some of the details? Uh, possibly. From what I was told, uh, they were on, just on a peaceful march, and the uh, police officers started uh, randomly pulling protesters out of the march and arresting them when the protesters started throwing water and paint at the police officers. And as the protesters started marching back towards their encampments, the police officers opened up with rubber bullets, tear gas, and smoke canisters. And then what do you suppose hit Olson in the head? Uh, we believe it was a tear gas canister. Um, you heard that the mayor came out and apologized for what happened. Uh, we also understand she went to the hospital personally to apologize to Scott. Uh, do you know if he accepted her apology? I don't know yet. Were you surprised that the mayor came out and apologized? A little bit, although uh, I believe she's just trying to save face now that everyone's calling for her to resign uh, for, as well as for a recall. What mistakes do you think were made by the mayor? Just the fact that they spent millions of dollars trying to clean up the encampment when they could have spent a lot less money to provide them what they needed to clean up the camp and keep it sanitary. And I know that protesters are going uh, to continue to camp out there. Can you tell us why it's important for protesters to stay out overnight in protest? Yes. Uh, well, it's important just to show the solidarity and that we're not going to give up no matter what the government or the police officers do to try to stop us from protesting here. And what would you like, finally, what would you like the mayor or the city of Oakland to do? to allow the peaceful protests to go on without any police force there, as well as uh, possibly help provide uh, the supplies needed to have a clean and safe camp area. And will you go back out there and protest? And, and will Scott, after he recovers, I don't know if that's possible. Yes, I'm, I'm, I will, and I'm sure Scott will as soon as he's able to. Keith Shannon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Still ahead on American Morning. The reward for